Today on Everyday Tactical Vids, we're taking a look at the Zippo 4-in-1 Woodsman. This is Tim as usual, and I got this product directly from Zippo for review. Pretty creative, pretty innovative that they would come up with something like this. Let's start off by talking through some of the specs. The 4-in-1 Woodsman is going to weigh in at 2 pounds, 13 ounces. Across the top here, you can see we're looking at about 8.5 inches. And then top to bottom, looking at about... 20 inches. Let's take a look at the four components of the 4-in-1 Woodsman. Up here on the top you can see your tent stake driver and the actual handle is ABS plastic. It looks like this is ABS plastic as well. I couldn't find any specific information about what this is but it does feel like the same uh, material. It's not made to you know break rocks or anything like that. It is to be uh, used as a tent stake driver so it's not made of metal just be aware of that. Down here on the bottom you have your tent stake puller and what you're going to do is put this portion onto the little hook of a tent stake and then you can pull it out. Up on the top here you can see we have the cover for your axe blade and it's rubberized here and here and so when you grab on like so you can take those tent stakes out quite easily. Looking at the cover here you've got this little knob you're going to loosen that up and eventually you can take this off. There's your axe blade inside and you can see this threaded portion goes into that little knob there that goes through this hole and that's how you're going to close up the cover and secure it. And once you do have it through there and then you crank this down, it is quite secure. So there's your axe blade. And then down here, what you can do is actually open up the handle. And inside, we have some saw blades. And I'll actually show you how to put the saw together now. Here you have the three components to actually putting your saw blade on. What you're going to do is put the cover part way back on and then attach the saw by running the, uh, the last hole through like this, closing it up, crank this down, and then you're going to release this and release this portion of the bottom part of the handle. And you've got this section right here. And you can see there's a little hook here. Let me just bring that up to the camera. You can see there's a little hook, you know, right, right there. So you're going to take your saw blade. Be careful as you're doing it, obviously. And then run the hook through there. Clamp this down. Crank that down. And now you actually have your saw. And to use the saw, this is the uh, this is where you're going to grasp it. And then you can actually cut it like so, or cut with it like so. So you've seen it put together in the studio and some of the different features. Let's actually take it out into the woods and show you how it works. Out here in the woods, we're going to continue our review of the Zippo 4-in-1 Woodsman. And the first thing we'll be doing is using the axe option. This next tree we're looking at here is about three and a half to four inches across. So there's what the actual cut looks like. I worked my way around about half of the tree. And that worked quite efficiently, I would say. The blade does come uh, relatively sharp right from the factory. Now we'll move on to using the saw.
we've had quite a bit of rain here in New Hampshire the last handful of days. So a lot of this stuff here in the woods is wet. What I am going to do is I'm going to take some of the wood I cut and some additional wood and break it down into smaller pieces as if I was going to be using it for getting a fire started. Here's a look at a small pile of wood. I put this together in about five minutes, uh, breaking up some new wood, splitting some of the wood that I already cut, and all that was done with the Zippo 4-in-1 Woodsman. As you can see here, I fashioned a couple stakes out of a sapling, and what we're gonna do is just show you how the mallet on the 4-in-1 Woodsman works. So, there's the mallet on the back. Notice that I did put the uh, sheath back on the ax. Make sure you cover that up with the sheath before you start swinging the ax uh, and using it in a and in using the mallet in any way. So here we go. One. And there's your mallet feature on the four and one. Here's my simulated tent stake here in the background. This is the tent stake puller. You basically drop this little section down and then it's very easy to remove a tent stake just by hooking this under this hook and pulling up. Let's wrap up now talking about the Zippo 4-in-1 Woodsman. What I'll do first is talk about some of the things to be aware of and maybe slash downsides and then we'll talk about the positives of this item. When I was in the studio I mentioned that if you crank down the, uh, the knob here fully you'll have no rattle in the sheath. That's not true. So this is fully tightened down. You can still hear. So there's a little bit of rattle there. Also when you have the saw blades inside the handle when you're using the axe you'll have a little bit of rattle there. To me that's not a huge deal. Some people that might annoy them but just I want something something I want you guys to be aware of. Secondly is the durability particularly of the mallet. This is made for driving tent stakes plastic tent stakes into the ground. So you're not gonna be breaking anything with this. I don't know what it would take them to actually make this mallet into something a little bit more sturdy so you could use it for more aggressive use. But Zippo, if you're watching this, I encourage you to think about that. That could broaden the use of an item like this. The third thing I'll say is just overall durability. Um, when I talked to a representative from Zippo, they were saying that this is not made to be the ultimate bushcraft sur craft survival tool. It's made to be a tool for camping and hiking so if you're looking for something that you can just beat the heck out of and it's never going to show any wear or never going to break, this is probably not it. However, if you're looking for an item that is you know, usable for a camping, hiking, outdoor situation and your, your life isn't completely dependent on it, but it makes life easier, it's a useful tool around camp, this could be a good option for you. One more thing I want to note is the tent stake puller, as you can see, you can fold it out of the way like this. When it is in the collapsed position, when I was holding the axe, I tended to want to hold it up a little bit higher like this just because I didn't want my hand like this on top of that tent stake puller. So that's just something to be aware of. You are losing, when you hold it up here above the tent stake puller, you are losing you know, a little bit more leverage and power. Obviously you're not gonna hold it all the way down in the end like this, but even to hold it like this, you have this tent stake puller kind of in the, the palm of your hand and that may be a little uncomfortable for people. So just keep that in mind. Now those are all things to be aware of. On the positive side, think about the fact that you have one tool that has two of the key outdoor uh, tools available to you immediately. You have a saw and you have an ax. That's a huge advantage, not having to carry two. It's in one unit altogether. Um, the ax was very usable. The saw was very usable. You saw me actually uh, you know, cut some wood with it. I wouldn't want to be having to fall, you know, fell some huge trees with this ax, but there's not many axes out that you're gonna be carrying in a survival or an outdoor situation that you're gonna be wanting to cut down huge trees. So I think the items, particularly the axe and the saw, very, very usable in an outdoor situation. Um, I found it overall pretty comfortable to use, considering that in one item you're getting you know, kind of a, basically a bow saw and, uh, and the axe holding onto this as the handle. When you're doing that sawing, 
still quite comfortable and you can see they do have rubber here and here and that does give you uh, a degree of control and comfort while you're actually using it. As a wrap up here, I want to give a big thumbs up to Zippo for innovation. You know, there's lots of folding saws out there, camp axes, camp hatchets, camping knives, but to put these four items and in particular, the two items I'm most likely to use, the saw and the ax together into one item, I just think that's really cool. They're stepping outside the box and trying to create new tools. For me, the use for this item will definitely be for hiking and camping when I'm out there either with some friends, doing a solo, or even with my family. This is a great item to throw in the back of the car and it offers you a variety of different tools. Thanks as always for checking out our videos. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check us out on Tumblr. Take care.